Today I show you how to switch between the front camera and the back camera on your Android phone. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V, but this is going to be very similar on most Android phones. And here I have the photo camera up, and your app might be a little bit different, but in general what you're looking for, Samsung or Xiaomi or Sony, you're looking for, you're looking for this sign, like a camera and something like sterning. When you're trying to find the button of the change in the camera from the front to the back, you're looking for a button like this. There is a camera and like a turning sign. So now I have the rear camera. It's I can take pictures with the. Now I can. Now I can take pictures with the rear camera right there. But if I want to switch to the front camera. If I want to switch, now I'm taking pictures. Now I can take a picture with the rear camera. But if I want to, now I'm taking. Now I can take a picture with the rear camera. But if I want to switch to the front camera, I press there. And now you see me. <laughs> the front camera. You have to know where it is. You might have to clean it a little bit, like that. It's uh, better to use a cloth or something. And this one is actually not too bad. So you see, you see me talking, and I don't know. Maybe it's not exactly at the same time, but it should be, should be, <laughs> yeah. So you could, you could say now, now you could, now you could see me talking while I'm talking to you through the phone. So that's interesting. And that's the front camera. And now I can switch to the. That's the front camera here. I can take a picture and press the switch to the rear camera and i took pictures of both so i switched to the rear camera and i can see the pictures i took before this this uh, strange light here is because of the lights here so you see there are there are the lights the lights on the desk here we we'll take a picture like that so yeah that's how you change from the front camera to the rear camera and you can take pictures it's very convenient to take selfies with the front camera like this so it's very convenient it's very convenient to take selfies like this you switch to the front camera and yeah you can take a picture like that and then you switch to the rear camera and you can continue to take pictures of something that you see outside. I hope this helps you take better pictures and take selfies when you want to. If you want the best quality selfies, you actually should. This is what I like to do. I will keep the rear camera and turn the phone around and I will take a photo with the rear camera because the usually the rear camera has the best quality photos. Wow. Okay. Okay, usually the rear camera has the best lens and especially the main lens when you're on 1x. So instead of switching instead of switching to the front camera, I like to turn the phone around and even though you don't see, I can press here and you can hear it. It's taking taking pictures. So you can see now the pictures I took and that's the photo. Usually the rear camera 1x, the, that camera is the best camera of the phone and the wide lens or the periscope zoom lens or the front camera, they're not that great, not as good as the main camera. So you can either use the selfie mode or use the rear camera and take a picture like this. Actually, you can start the camera by pressing this button and it's already starting. <laughs> so if you if I don't have the camera started, I press this button, it starts the camera up. It's a feature of the Xperia phone iPhone. The iPhone also has this button now. The camera button is in a very similar position. So that's great for me. I have the iPhone also and it's almost the same. I hope I hope this helps you take better pictures with the front camera if you need to, but also with the rear camera. Thanks for watching.